going to show you how you can use the feature that we're calling product background color cards um, you'll notice it here on our demo um, the background here of uh, this will change based on the variant that I'm hovering over so we don't actually upload these product images with this color in the background these are actually just transparent product images so they have no background at all there's just the product that's the main focus and we're able to take that background and set a specific color tint that we want to choose we can do this for the variants or if you just want to have it where all of your products have the one different tint that's not the same color as the background of the website uh, a couple of things to know as well, if your images are, let's say, most commonly JPEG images that you might get from drop shippers or from, say, your suppliers, not to worry. If they have a white background, this will also work. You just want to make sure that you check this box here. This is the box that makes it that JPEG images that have white backgrounds will also apply the color tint that you set up and select. I'm going to walk you through how you can just set a color background for all your products uh, just to keep it nice and simple. So um, here I'm on one of my collections right now, and here we can see I've just done that. So, so how did I do that? Um, well, I went to theme settings and, and product cards. I made sure that I selected a product card uh, color. So here you can see this color scheme. I'm also going to explain this a little bit as well, because you're probably wondering why do we have three cards when I can only apply one to uh, pretty much my collections and stuff. So you'll probably notice throughout the website uh, on some sections, you're going to see a section. Let's say, for example, here I have this option where I can set a color scheme here. I can set, you know, my card to color scheme for this block here, which is applying the color to this free shipping uh, uh, label here, which I'll actually be covering in another video, which you can find over on our collections page for uh, mode. If you're curious about that, there'll be uh, some links over in the website for that. Um, but here we can actually apply different cards, but we can also actually apply custom colors as well. If you so, you know, should desire, but here I can car uh, add card one, card two and card three. So that's why underneath theme settings and colors, uh, we scroll down, we have our uh, color schemes. So I've selected that on my uh, product cards that we're going to use card one. So if I go to colors here and I look for card one, if I wanted to change the background here, I would click on background and then I can change it to say a pink. I can change it to white. Um, I can change it to black, but not really advised to use really harsh, dark colors. It usually works better with lighter colors because it just helps the image not to focus on the color so much, but to focus on the, you know, the product at hand that you're mainly looking to sell. Um, but as you can see here, I can set my color scheme for my uh, cards here, and this will apply to all of my products. Now you'll actually notice here that this product here is actually pink. And you're probably wondering, is there something wrong? No, because actually for this variant, I've actually set up a meta field to pull this pink through. I'm going to show you how you can set up a color backgrounds for your variants so that when people hover over them, you get this nice uh, color background going on here. So first things first, click on theme settings, click on product cards and copy this uh, bit of text here. Theme dot card underscore underscore BG. When you do that, head outside of the theme editor go to settings and go to uh, meta fields. When you're here, you'll want to click on variants, but if you just want to set up a color for a product and it just applies to all that products variants, then you can follow the same method, but just click on products. But I'm just going to do it for variants for now. I go to click add definition for name, just call it something that helps you know what it is. So color uh, variant and then for the namespace, that's where you're going to paste in that code that I asked you to copy. Description, you can leave that blank. Don't click that. Select the content type. You're going to select this dropper where it says color and then click save. Now, when you do that, it's going to create a meta field on your variants. So now all you have to do is head over to your product and open up the variant that you want to add the uh, meta field for. So I'm going to edit it for this product here. So now once it opens, I uh, scroll down to the very bottom here, we're going to see the meta field that we've created. And you can already see we've added one for this one already. 
it's got this nice subtle red so it's not going to blend too much into the back end of the product so what i like to do also is um, with my meta fields uh, and the colors i like to like take the color of the product and just get a nice tint of whatever that color is i use a chrome extension that's free um, it's a color pick eyedropper. I'll leave a link in the description of the YouTube video and the guide. Um, and it's really cool because it gives me this crosshair and I can basically ho hover over anything. And it basically will tell me the hex code of that color. And that's what we use to basically tell sh the theme to show this color. So here I've clicked here for this color. So, and if I click on the uh, Chrome extension again, I can then highlight and copy this hex code. Now I could just go into my variant and just add that hex code and be done. But what I like to do is I like to get a subtler tint of what that color is. Cause if I just pick this color, it might just end up blending too much into the image. So I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter than what it is. So I like to use this website color-hex. It's really cool. You can put in like the name of a color or the hex code click get info and the thing I like most is that down here you have this tints area and this basically takes the color at its hardest tint and just give you uh, like variations of like lighter tints of it obviously you don't want to go for the very very last one because that's just going to be too white but I just like to go like in the, like in the middle gets me like a really perfect uh, kind of color that I'm going for now that I've done that, I just come back here, copy and paste it in there, and that will be the color that will be displayed on the product whenever I hover over that variant or whenever I'm on the product page itself and select that variant, as I'll demonstrate here. You can see it's red here. If I swap over to here, it's going to be the it's yellow, and that will be that, col that product's color anywhere on the website, home page, collection page, anytime someone hovers over that variant, that's going to be one that is uh, displayed. All right, guys, welcome to the wrap up of this video. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping things, questions that we believe people might ask about. Um, so the first one is, um, is it possible to bulk edit your meta fields? Um, so you can just like do very quickly. Unfortunately, it's not. You do have to go and open each one, change it manually and go back out. Uh, meta fields are something that's been added to Shopify uh, quite recently even the past year let's say and they're obviously improving it over time so we do hope that they do include the option to bulk edit meta fields as it should speed up this process other thing to cover as well if your images are not uh, transparent that they have no background color and let's say they have a white background color you can and um, be sure to enable this feature so that those images will apply the color scheme so commonly jpeg images will have white backgrounds pngs may be transparent but this will cover you on both sections. And also to remember the color scheme, this uh, feature doesn't just apply to this, it can apply to some sections. You'll notice that some sections offer the ability to select uh, one of the cards from the color scheme. So you can use that throughout the website in some sections also. You cannot unfortunately um, apply custom colors to all sections. Um, and yeah, that kind of sums up everything guys. So thanks very much for watching the video. I do hope it helped you set up your background colors. Um, if the video helped you, please be sure to like, uh, leave a comment letting, it, letting us know if it worked for you and how you like the theme and drop a subscribe because we will be putting out more videos about mode on the YouTube now. So if we add new features in the next coming months, you can see on YouTube and be notified of maybe something cool that's coming down the line. Or if you have ideas, please do drop them in the comments. We'll be checking them out and uh, our devs will also be interested to know what people like about the theme and things that they like to see in the theme. And also, if you're liking the theme, um, please do consider giving us a review over on the Shopify theme store. You can promote yourself over there as well. Uh, people do check out the reviews and check out websites that do use the themes to get inspired. So they will be also checking out your content that way. So hopefully a little bit of publicity for yourself. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So again, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have yourself a great day.